Um, if you broke, just say that. See that? That statement right there. Can we normalize not using being broke as an insult? What's up you guys? It's your girl Sandra. You're watching Sandra Said What. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining me. If you're a returning subscriber, my returning day one, thank you so much for joining me. And if this is your first time, we welcome you to our clan. Don't forget to leave a comment and share and subscribe to this channel so you can get more of my videos. Okay, so let's get into it. Today's video, I really want to touch on this. Sorry, they're working on our roof upstairs. It's crazy okay but today's video I want to get into people using being broke as an insult so in the age of social media where it's easy to glamorize everything whether or not it's real a lot of people look down on me yeah let me take a break and come back to this video I bet you as soon as I stop talking they stop beating but once I start start talking they start going okay so like I was saying, in the age of social media where it's very easy for people to appear rich, appear to be living a certain lifestyle, appear to be traveling every day, getting their hair and makeup done by professionals all the time, going to the spa, jet skiing, doing all kinds of fabulous things, which is okay, which is normal to get, um, which is okay, and I'm very okay with that. But in the age of social media, there are people who are not actively living this lifestyle procuring their social media to look as such and because of that a lot of people tend to be using being broke as an insult okay so let's address the first thing we live in a capitalist society which is essentially every man for himself no matter how much they tell you we're in this together we are one we are one united people we are not this system is structured so that those who can grab as much as they want or can for themselves and forget everybody else. It is an individualistic society which means every man for himself. There are societies that are collectivist which means everyone work together for the good of the collective, of the group, of the country, of the culture, whatever. But this particular society that we live in, I live in the United States of America just to be clear, is on individualistic society culture that tells you to grab as much as you can you are entitled to everything as long as you can grab it as long as it's within your reach so go for it the American dream is basically the idea that any and everyone can achieve the highest possible um, goals as long as they work for it as long as they put their best foot forward as long as they um, basically work themselves to death Okay, and what this fails to mention is that not everyone come from the same background. This society like to tell us that, yeah, we all have the same opportunities. We all have the same resource access to the same resources. We all can be anything that we want to be. That couldn't be farther from the truth, right? Because we do not live in the same neighborhoods and we know that certain areas of this country are better taken care of than others depending on where you live. Literally, depending on where you live, that can determine the length of your life, your health, your mental health, um, the kind of careers you get, um, the kind of opportunities you get. So no, we do not have all have the same opportunities. We do not go to the same school. We are not around the same people. We do not have the same um, teachers that teach us things or care about us the same way. We do not have the same opportunity. So on social media now, everyone is able to procure this lifestyle, which I don't blame them. So why should I be poor in real life and be poor on social media as well no and I am not saying that you should fake anything just do as you desire I'm just saying I do not judge people who do even if people are faking it I don't judge them for it however it's when that um, seeps into reality where we anything anytime someone's not able to afford something or doesn't want something or spend money on something then we label them all if you're broke just say that 
it's not necessarily about being broke. People have different priorities. We don't know what people are dealing in their personal lives. We don't know um, their bills. We don't know how to, they take care of their children. We don't know their responsibilities. We don't understand their health, um, how much that costs. Everything is very expensive in this country. So for us to continuously use um, this system that was set up against a lot of people, a lot of people have the shorthand to begin with, while others are, I'm not gonna say fortunate, have great advantages that was designed for them to have and they are able to get quicker um, farther in life quicker okay a lot of people in this country have worked for what they have but we know a lot of them have not and a lot of wealth is passed from generation to generation so if you are a person who um, came from money and um, was awarded things from your childhood and you were set up for success and we know money makes more money especially in this um, capitalist society then you really don't have a say in people being broke or not because you really didn't design your life and if you are one person who did work to get to where you are you came from a position of disadvantage and you turned that you were able to successfully transition to a more successful role then you should be using that your experience to teach people remembering where you came from that you did not have the opportunities in the first place and it's not everyone most people realistically majority of people that come from um a disadvantaged um area of society are not going to transition to a more successful area and that's the reality of it so it nobody should be judging anybody on how to upkeep themselves how to upkeep their lives because everyone is different everyone have different goals everyone have different realities everyone is different have different goals different realities um different opportunities so the fact that we are not using social media to justify us being this i don't want to say disgusting but really nasty and mean people um, just tells us a lot about our characters and the funny thing is a lot of people on social media that are calling other people broke they are actually broke themselves so it don't even make sense to me that people are here judging people for being in the literally same situation that they're in just because they feel comfortable behind a keyboard they don't have to have that face-to-face -face conversation and nobody is checking them on hey this is your reality so it's not so different from the person you're judging why like, it's not making sense like let's think about this for a second right i'm gonna use women as an example we are supposed to have this ideal look on social media we know social media is very judgmental right your hair has to be done okay let's talk here let's say you do your hair once every two weeks that's 150 dollars right okay you got to do your nails that's 70 80 dollars right if you put on um lashes that's about another 70 dollars right um your makeup how much we know makeup is extremely expensive right you're spending thousand dollars on makeup you're spending thousands of dollars on clothes you're spending thousands of dollars on shoes and you're telling me we're doing this every two weeks somebody's lying in no way that none of y'all are out here doing it like that unless somebody is scamming somebody is tricking you have a very successful business nobody's out here living like this most people i'm not gonna say nobody most people are not so do not take that opportunity on social media just because you can just because the platform is available to call people broke to me okay like if someone was to say to me oh if you broke just say that okay i'm broke make me rich how you gonna make me rich did you come from a position of disadvantage where you made yourself rich then teach me did you come from a position where you already had money then you have nothing to say are you gonna write me a check am i supposed to spend the money that i okay i live in freaking florida the cost of living is like three times the minimum wage okay so if somebody's getting below the cost of living are they supposed to take they literally would have to work three times as hard and most of the time they don't even they're not even able to because it's physically impossible to work all these hours or um they don't pay them that well right are they supposed to take that little money that they take that they make they work their butt off for to um impress somebody on social media 
Are they supposed to take that loan money that they make to go on lavish vacations that they cannot afford and be behind on their bills? Are they supposed to take that money and, and throw it in your face and say, hey, look, I got money? Well, really, they're struggling. A lot of people are still going to school. Education is one higher education is one of the most expensive things in the country healthcare is one of the most expensive things on this country um living is expensive because you gotta eat you gotta pay your rent you gotta pay your light bill you gotta pay your water bill you gotta pay for your car note you gotta pay your car insurance you come on let's be realistic about how things are that's why a lot of people end up faking it on social media and you guys want to judge them when you are the same one calling people broke in the first place it does not make no sense they don't make no sense so please i just wanted to address that because i get so annoyed when i see people doing obviously stupid things even when they are literally in the exact same situation there is no way people out are out here going on vacation every week when they work a 875 job an hour job like it, it's not true it's literally almost impossible unless they are scamming somebody or unless somebody is funding their lifestyle there's absolutely no way so to me it's absurd to be telling people you know basically stop being broke now I'm all for advancement. I'm all for people um, working and building successful careers, grinding, and you know, becoming a success story. I'm not saying that everybody um, should stay in the same position that they are, but I'm saying let's be realistic that most people are not going to get out of the situation that they are, and if someone is struggling in real life social media is supposed to trigger your creativity so if you're not able to use social media creatively then why are you on there and if you're on there just to, for leisure don't judge other people who are there doing the same thing so that was my take on it thank you guys so much for watching um i will talk to you guys later and don't forget to like this video and comment on it and subscribe on it and tell me your whole thought about you know this whole social media phenomenon where if someone is not able to afford something or doesn't want to spend thousands of dollars on designer clothes that you shouldn't be spending on in the first place or someone is not able to go on fake vacations just you know to be behind on their bills and this whole thing what are your thoughts on it because it, it, it it's ridiculous to me it drives me nuts okay anyway you guys thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys later thank you for watching sandra said what don't forget to subscribe <laughs> subscribe see you guys later bye